put your faith in what Christ has done, not in what you can do to protect yourself from this virus. Hallelujah. You see, today we have a better covenant than Israel. We have better promises than the old covenant. We have a better blood. We have living blood. We have eternal blood, precious blood on which we stand. Our faith is not in the sacrifice of animals. Our faith is not even in our own sacrifices. Now people are saying we need to sacrifice during this time by praying and fasting and so on. If you're doing those things, nothing wrong, do it. However, our faith must be in His sacrifice, not our sacrifice. Amen. Our faith should be in what He has done, not in what we do. Listen to me. When you put your faith in what you do, you will always find something you have not done enough. When you put your faith in your sacrifice, you will always think that there is some sacrifice that you have not completed well enough. And will lead you to doubt and condemnation and fear. But when you put a faith in the perfect sacrifice of Jesus, because Jesus' sacrifice is sinless, His obedience was perfect, He was completely righteous, that means it's a sacrifice that is so perfect, nothing can be added to it. Nothing can be added to it. And Jesus is sitting on the throne. Jesus is not going to go back on the cross, which means nothing can be added to it. It is a perfect sacrifice. When we look at that sacrifice, we can be at rest and we can find protection because that sacrifice speaks of a covenant. A covenant, a promise that God made in the giving of His own Son, in the shedding of the blood of His own Son, that He has sworn by Himself that He will fulfill everything He said in His Word. It is a covenant, and that covenant promises us protection. And that covenant also protects, but promises us healing. If you have been sick because of the coronavirus, do not fear. There's a covenant of healing. Through the sacrifice of Jesus. There's a covenant of protection. Through the sacrifice of Jesus. There's a covenant of deliverance. If you are stuck somewhere in an airport. And you cannot come back home. God will make a way for you. There's a covenant of deliverance and rescue. Even in the sacrifice of Jesus. It covers every area of crisis. You may find yourself in. So don't blame yourself. Whatever situation you may be in. Look to Jesus. Don't just say, I have faith, I have faith. No. Our faith comes from His sacrifice. Our boldness comes from His sacrifice. Now, some Christians may be saying, I'm bold, uh, the virus will not affect me. Listen. Our faith should not be arrogant faith. It is not faith in our faith that protects us. It is faith in the sacrifice of Jesus. It is not faith in our boldness. Our boldness comes because... It originates from the perfect sacrifice of Jesus. I'm bold today not because I'm great, not because I'm this mighty man of faith. I'm bold today because the sacrifice of Jesus is perfect. Hallelujah. So put your faith in the sacrifice of Jesus because that is a covenant that protects, a covenant that promises healing, a covenant that will deliver you and rescue you. Put your faith in Him. He is a great Savior. He is a good Savior. Don't just trust in Scriptures. Yes, trust in Scriptures. But more than that, trust in Him. The person of Jesus. He will save you. He will heal you. He will protect you. And then you stand on the Scriptures.